Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? So it is Saturday morning and it is 7.04 in the morning, you guys. Um, I've been up since five. I can't sleep, so I decided I might as well take a shower and get ready for the day. Um, today, I am just going to be cleaning house. Uh, it's supposed to thunderstorm later today. It's kind of cloudy out today. Um, and I'm up like I'm ready to go to work. <laughs> Um, I have a clean house for the most part, um, but I want to do some decluttering today. Uh, I want to get down in my garage, finish that up, get my area down there all cleaned up and organized. Um, it is a mess down in the garage, not going to lie. Um, but it's going to get done today. I do plan on painting my nails and doing my fingernails and I'm having a little bit of beauty day today. Um, just here at the house, I'm just going to do my own stuff. And, um, I do plan on, uh, being here for the Xfinity guy this morning. Um, he's going to be here between eight and 11. And so I, um, am here for him. Um, uh, my internet's not working you guys. So I can't even upload this video I'm making right now. So hopefully he'll get here and get that fixed. Um, he was working on a neighbor's and it knocked off my cable. So um, that's what's going on there. And I um, have a lot of computer stuff to do if the internet starts working. I also want to uh, relax if possible uh, today. And just take it easy. I feel like I've been fighting a cold. And um, my son has allergies. I've had allergies. And um, here in Missouri, it doesn't know if it's going to be hot or cold. So, um, I got the boys all enrolled in school this week. And super excited um, to get that going and done and over with. Um, got all their school supplies already purchased. So, I don't need to do any shopping, which is a good thing because I am flat broke. Um, another reason why I want to stay home today is just to not spend any money. I've got a lot I need to do here at home and um, I thought I would just bring you guys along with me. And um, it's been a while since I've done decluttering videos or any um, organization videos. And so I'm going to try to do some of those today with you guys and um, just kind of bring you along with me and whatever I do throughout the day on this video here. And so um, I came into the kitchen. <laughs> you know, I said my house is not a mess, but it really isn't a mess. But I do have a sink full of dishes I need to do. Um, the dishes in the sink are leftovers from last night's dinner, and then I have my cat bowl that is slimy and gross, uh, for water, and so I need to, um, clean up this fountain here that I have for her, and, um, clean out all of this gunk. Can you guys see that gunk in there? Oh, my poor kitty. And, um, clean off her mat. That is really dirty. Um, and so we're going to do that. I do have these dishes here beside me that I need to put away. Um, they are clean. And so I'm going to do that. But first, coffee and Jesus.
guys. I got my coffee made. Um, I want to show you my new clock I got on my wall. You guys love that? Um, it says, time spent with family is worth every second. <laughs> yeah, um, my son and I hung that on the wall. It's not perfect, and I cannot change the number one around. My son put it on backwards, and uh, it's taken off the wall, you guys. So, can't change that. Um, I'm going to have to live with it for a while. Uh, but uh, these walls in this apartment are not all that great, and I know I'm going to have to probably uh, replaster this whole wall when I move out. Um, but um, I wanted to kind of talk to you for a minute while I have my Jesus time and my coffee time. I have a um, apple turnover that I'm going to eat uh, for breakfast with my coffee. And um, I want to talk about a couple things that I have. Um, right now I'm reading this book. It's called Help and Hope for the Single Parent by Tony Evans. Um, all I've done is read that first chapter, and I love it already. Um, it's going to be a very short read. Um, I probably could finish it all in one day if I just sat down and read it. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to um, read, uh, you know, one chapter at a time and um, just kind of meditate on what he's saying here. Um, you know, the first chapter is talking about how God does not want you to be a single parent. Um, he really wants um, us to be married. He wants us to find that spouse who will stay in a committed marriage um, covenant with Jesus and with you as your spouse. Um, I have been married and divorced now three times, you guys. I'm having a really hard time finding that godly man in my life who will honor God. Um, and that's all there is to why I'm divorced. Um, I just need that man who loves God more than he loves me. And I am having a really hard time finding that in this world right now. Um, but, uh, um, you know, God doesn't want us to be single. Um, there's no reason for us to be single, especially if we had been married before. Um, if we are single because God wants us to be single in our life, um, then we will never marry and we will be um, in a marriage with Jesus um, and not a divorce. So um, if you are married and um, now you're divorced and you're feeling hopeless, you know, it's not God's intention for you to be divorced or alone. Um, for that matter, um, he has a plan for us. Um, I don't know what the plan is <laughs> uh, for me, you know, um, I do know that because of my divorce and my husband filing um, to uh, be with someone else, I do know that I am very content with his decision. Um, it wasn't my decision. It was something that uh, I didn't have a say over. I didn't get to choose. Um, I don't think it's fair for my children to grow up in a family um, who has been divided and separated. Um, I think it's very hurtful to the children in um, a family, um, especially when uh, you have stepdad and he walks away from the family. Um, so now your dad has walked away from the family and now a stepdad has walked away from your family. It's very, very difficult on the kids. Um, and then if it's your own father who walks away, um, I know that it's very, very difficult on those children. Um, but you know, I want to say that um, God does not intend to you to um, be divorced. However, he does know what's going to happen to you. Um, so when you make that covenant of your marriage and you say, I do, and you're committed, and you are living a godly Christian marriage um, for however long you're married. For me, I was almost 10 years. Um you know, God uh, knows your heart. He knows your heart. He knows um, how much you loved your spouse and how you much you loved God and how you've honored him and um, you were committed. And so God is going to provide as your spouse. Um, you are 
now going to have um, in your singleness that choice uh, to keep following God or to uh, reject God because of um, the pain you may be feeling or the anger you may be feeling of your spouse leaving you. Um, and you, you may just decide to go right into a new relationship. Um, God does not want you to do that. Um, he has made it very, very clear. And Tony Evans is talking about how this is not God's plan for you to be single. Um, and maybe God is working on the ex-spouse um, in your life. And maybe he is not. Um, maybe that spouse has completely rejected Christ. But if um, that ex-spouse was uh, one with Christ, you would not be divorced right now. Um, and so, um, you know, Tony Evans makes it very clear that it is the man's responsibility in um, your family to keep that marriage um, united and together. You know, go to counseling if you're having problems or seek help. But um, Tony Evans makes it very, very clear that as a submissive wife, you don't get to choose um, whether you are divorced or not. Um, you are to honor your spouse until your spouse says, let me go. And um, if you are unequally yoked in that marriage, um, like I was, then God says, let him go. Let him go if he wants to walk away from your marriage um, and seek God um, to fulfill that void in your life, that love that you're lacking from your spouse. And um, God will do great things within you. And I just want to read a couple of the little inserts of um, things in this book that Tony Evans um, kind of puts in little paragraphs right here, um, little verses or sayings. Um, and I want to read some of these to you because it helps, encourages you um, as you're struggling through your divorce. God can meet your need. Even though you may not have an ideal home situation, you do have an ideal God. And, you know, that is me. Um, I was kicked out of my home by my spouse with the children. And, um, you know, our home was split. Our home was taken. And... We've had to start over, but um, God has been so good to us through our circumstances. Yet God takes special care to mention his great love for those who are vulnerable and alone in trying to raise a family. Um, you know, I have been seeking help through different um, community outreach programs, divorce care, and um, they have been helping me cope with the emotional distress and hard, financial hardship um, of my divorce and what has happened to me and my children. And um, if it wasn't for them giving me godly um, support and counseling and, and people at my church and my care group at my husband's church, um, you know, they are all there supporting me and my children and said, uh, you know, this divorce was wrong. And, you know, it's good to surround yourself with those um, who will help guide you. Um, but if you don't have any of those friends like I did, um, God is um, going to show mercy on you for your faith and um, your trust in him. And he will provide. The greatest thing a single parent can do is to have a passion for God. Um, that one I posted the other day on my Facebook page because that is uh, so true that um, if you just have a passion for God as your spouse, everything's going to be fine. I mean, because let's think about it. What you are relying on your spouse is, is to help uh, support you, love you, and provide and protect and keep you safe. And you want that spouse to um, care for you uh, as a human being and um, to help guide you. You know, a lot of times... Um, I don't want to get into filling um, the roles of what a woman and, and man should be. But, um, you know, the woman is to be submissive to her husband. And um, he is to guide her. And, um, you know, I don't want to demasculate any man um, whose responsibility is that, who can do that. And I... Um, love seeing those marriages 
where that man has really stepped it up on that role of loving his wife no matter what happens to her. Um, if she gets fat or if she loses a lot of weight or if she is sick or dying of cancer or um, those circumstances, that man, a lot of times, if he is right with God, he will stand by her side and love her no matter what. Um, in my case, my husband and I went into our marriage with my husband not even loving me from the very beginning. And um, so, you know, I did not realize that until we were married. But, um, you know, through prayer for him is all I can do um, to love him back the way I, I, I should, is to continue to pray for him. And... Um, you know, God says it is better to be faithful to God and not to have a husband than to have to leave God behind just to have a mate. You guys, I did that in my marriage. I left God behind because um, I wanted my husband and um, it didn't matter what my husband was doing um, that was wrong or that I felt conviction about. Um I pushed God away um, in my marriage because I wanted um, to be with my husband and not be with God as much. And, um, you know, I think that that was God's plan for my divorce was for me to realize where I was in my relationship with him. And uh, I am very thankful that God um, had this divorce happen so I could see the uh, truth and really what was going on that I kind of pushed aside. And uh, God wants us to learn to operate his word and not on our circumstances. You know, he has promises that he's kept us in the um, Bible. And man, he does not break his promises, you guys. He is not a man who is going to walk out of your life. Uh, God is a, um, a faithful and just God. And he... Um, will keep his promises to you. So if he says that you will never starve, you will never starve. If he says he will um, give you the things, the desires of your heart, he will. And if he says he will never leave you or forsake you, he promises he will never do that. And he will never leave you. Um, you may leave him, but he will never leave you. Um, if you will obey God as a single parent, live by faith, and generate as much godly influence as you are able, you can trust to rest in God. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for that one. Because if it wasn't for rest in God, um, I would be restless right now. I would just be so, um, my anxiety level would be so high. And um, it's because of my faith in God and my morals and my values as a Christian woman. Um that is one thing that I have realized since my divorce also is that um, I'm a child of God. You know, um, there are certain things that Satan can just not touch you on as a, um, a woman and as a Christian woman. Um, uh, Satan cannot touch your kids. Satan cannot um, touch your home. Uh, you have authority over... Um, Satan and his evil schemes um, and those fiery darts that he tries to throw at you um, on a daily basis as a single mom. And especially those um, battles in your mind that uh, Satan tells you that you are just not good enough and you cannot ever be loved because your spouse walked out on you. And I'm telling you right now, those are lies from the devil himself. And so... Um, rest assured in God that um, he will give you everything you need. It is important to see how God designed the church to function as a family for those who don't, do not have an immediate family to fall back on for help and support. Um, find a local church, like I said. Um, get part of those uh, community outreach and the care groups at your churches. Um, to help you as a single mom because it is going to be a struggle and um, You know, it's kind of like putting on the full armor of God. You really need to um, Surround yourself 
with other believers um, who will um, keep you in line with God's word. Um, it's very easy to step away from God in your relationship as a Christian when you are hurting and when you are not understanding God's plan. But uh, to surround yourself with those other believers who will say, hey, you're doing what's right. Keep doing what you're doing. You're going to be okay, and we will help you, and we'll give you clothes and money and food and um, shelter, and they will help you. Um, that is the best blessing a single mom can have is from other Christian believers. If you have not started with God... You have started wrong. Oh, my gosh. That's what I'm saying. Um, when I was a single mom, before I met my last husband, um, I had this strong relationship with Christ that I do now. Again, uh, during my marriage, I did not. I pushed God to the back burner. And um, now I am refocused back on God the way I should be as a Christian woman. And so, um, you know, God is supposed to be over your husband, you know. God knows how to get you from where you are to where he wants you to be, you know. This is a stepping stone. I really feel like um, God is showing um, me as I am doing my steps um, to recovery uh, from my divorce um, and just really reading up on books like this um there i have purchased several of these books um to help me with co-parenting um to help me with doing things god's way as a single mom and um really homemaking even uh as a christian and how god really wants women to take care of their home and their children and their families and to raise um especially boys. I have boys, you guys. Um, God wants us to raise our children to know him. And it's very important to set that example for your children. Um, you know, don't be yelling and cussing at your ex-spouse because you're hurt. Um, don't go out drinking and partying because you're hurt. Um, turn all that anger and focus and put it into Christ. And, um, so that's what I'm doing, and I am doing one day at a time. You guys, it is a struggle as a single mom, and um, I have pure happiness for the first time in 10 years of my marriage, um, you know, and I am praying for my ex-spouse, and I am praying that um, he will um, make those godly decisions when it comes to even raising our child and um, that he will co-parent with me um, and that we together as mom and dad can work together um, to make sure that my children do not live in a home where we are um, having to struggle because dad walked out on us. And so um, I am in prayer i am in prayer for that to happen and um it's a struggle it's a struggle you guys but there is help and hope for the single parent you know tony evans said so himself <laughs> um i love tony evans i could watch him all day me and my husband actually did um tony evans um the marriage kingdom uh, discipleship with a couple from our church and i absolutely loved it I wanted to talk about it um, more and more with my spouse, but it was very difficult for me to get that communication going with him. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of times when we would talk about the marriage um, conference that we had with that disciple couple, my husband would say, did you hear that? Did you hear what you're supposed to do? Did you hear that? And I am now remembering, you know, all those um, conversations where it was always my fault. And um, when we got into arguments, it was always my fault. And I remember now um, why I'm okay with this divorce is because it's always my fault. And um, I'm used to it, you know. 
um, there was no give and take. There was no um, true repentance. There was no true honesty. There was no true um, love and care for someone um, as your spouse in my marriage. And um, that's why now I can say I am truly happy because I do truly love myself now. And um, I can truly love God and let God love me back. Um, and it's easy for me to see that God is providing. He's protecting. He's doing all the things he's promised to do. He's not left me. And he's right here beside me right now. Even on this video, I wish God's face would just show up right here on the screen. <laughs> um, so you all would just believe, you know, God is... Um, the one who you need to turn to during um, the struggle of singleness. And so um, I'm going to eat my breakfast and then we will pick up in the kitchen where I left off. All right, everyone. That was a really yummy breakfast. Um, coffee was so good and soothing. And I just um, got off the phone with a friend. And so um, things are happening good already today. So, um, all right, I'm going to do these dishes real quick. Um, I want to sh share with you guys this soap dispenser thing I got. Um, I absolutely love it. It's um, by Timu. And um, you would just put the sponge on here and you push on it. And it puts the soap right on the sponge. Um, and you put the dishwashing soap there. And then you can put some water at the top if you want. Um, but it just already puts the soap on the sponge for you. And I love that, having that. Um, see, look how soapy it already is. And so you just rinse it and then um, you're done. And I, I love having that. Um, I'm so glad I purchased that. That is probably actually one of my favorite purchases on Timu. Um, it just works so well. And um, look at that. Soapy, clean, rinse, and be done. I only have like four dishes here. Not very many to do. So, um... That's a good thing. As I was putting those dishes away earlier, I realized I do need to do some decluttering up in my dishes um, cabinets here in the kitchen. I've got too much, too much, and I'm too short, and I can't reach the top shelf. So I need to do some reorganization of some things in my kitchen. So I think we're going to do that and add it to this video real quick. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on it um, because this would be a really long video.
Okay, I'm gonna do this cabinet here. Um, I would have a dishwasher here full of dishes that need to be put away. But um, see how these cups up here um, are way up here and some of them have lids, some of them don't. I have my bowls and I used to have my plates here. I cannot reach, you guys, I'm so short. I can't reach this stuff so I need to um, make more room uh, to maybe put some more cups here and plates here and bowls down here. Okay, you guys have to get a chair to um, get up here <laughs> to get to this cabinet. Um, so I am going to rearrange this real quick. Um, I don't know if there's a place I could put my um, camera down at and I can't hold it while I'm rearranging. So let me rearrange real quick and then uh, show you what I did. Okay, I wanna show you what I did. Um, I have a bunch of cups here, right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cups that I'm going to take and put somewhere else, um, probably down in the garage. These are all extras. I really don't need all these extras. Um, it's just me and my boys, you guys. And so, um, I love this one. It's a Yeti, but it says love, um, teach love and inspire but the writing is coming off of it you guys um, I use it for teaching and so I want to probably keep that but put it in my teaching bag and um, then just fill it up whenever I need to um, the um, other mugs that I want to keep is this one I'm going to move it to my car camping um, stuff so I will have this thermos for car camping um, and then I have two of these and so I kept one in my cabinet and one I am putting uh, downstairs for extra and um, these white cups I had extra so I'm going to keep those for whenever I have more people over um, and then uh, she is clothed and strength and dignity um, I love this one but um, I'm going to put this down with the extras also and um, so here's my cabinet now. Okay, I moved all of the um, bowls and the plates down to the bottom shelf because um, my nine-year-old needs to be able to reach them. I need to be able to reach them. I moved all of the mugs from the top shelf up there where I can't reach to right there. And then my coffee mugs, my plastic cups right there for my kiddos, and then my glasses right there. And um, that made so much difference. Looky there nice and clean all right another cabinet i would like to get done um, in my kitchen is this cabinet right here um this cabinet is um some things in here that i probably need to go through and get rid of um this right here moldy bread gotta go gotta go um, here is a plastic tub with no lid. I need to put that where my uh, Tupperware is um, and see if I can find the lid for that. Um, the tea goes up in a different cabinet up in the kitchen. Uh, pasta. Pasta goes up in a different cabinet up there. Um, again, brownies mix. That goes above the stove. Why it's in this cabinet, I don't know. I need to put all this stuff away. Um, and then same with my strawberry gelatin. It goes in a different cabinet. So I am going to keep some things down here. Um, 
a lot of this is stuff I had just gotten, and so I need to definitely um, put it away to where it goes. And um, so we're going to clean this all up real quick, and then I think I'm going to move all of my canned goods down here into this cabinet right here. So I'm going to do that today. Okay, everyone. Um, I just added my canned goods down here, and um, I have a couple of my keto shakes and um, carnation breakfast drinks down here also, but, um, I wanted to have a space just for my canned goods, and it actually, um, up here came, all those canned goods came from up here, and it really opened up my cabinet up there, um, for my soups and my pastas and all that stuff. Um, I wanted to also show you this, uh, cookbook I found, and, um, yeah, I can't wait to start doing some keto cooking. Um, I have really um, gone off of my diet, and I need to get back on my keto diet and my um, fasting diet also. And um, I do have a lot of energy now. I am working really hard on losing my weight. Um, I just need to do a better job. Being organized will help me as a single mom be a lot more... Um, have a whole lot more time management when it comes to cooking and uh, meal prep. So that is one of my goals is to meal prep um, for me and my kids, um, even throughout uh, the winter time, um, the whole winter this year. And so um, I definitely am wanting to do some major videos on um, cooking big bulk uh, freezer meals and uh, keto friendly meals. And so I'm really excited that I got this cookbook and um yeah you guys uh this is nice actually just organizing and getting things cleaned up so um i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i'm gonna probably do a couple more cleaning videos but right now i think i'm gonna head to my basement and i'm gonna actually start cleaning up my basement and um i will add whatever new videos um that i make today um and uh they'll probably be separate videos and so um Look forward to seeing what else I get done today. Talk to you guys later. God bless. Bye.